This video is brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com, where you can find cool stuff in stock. Hello, and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGB, and before you think, oh my gosh, it's him doing another Jeskai control deck, I've got a confession to make. This video comes to you from the future? Is that how? No, it's the future past. I don't know. Um, I recorded this, I re-recorded this intro after playing the games because I don't know. There was something in the air. Actually, I know exactly what it is. Guys, I got to level with you. I hurt my foot. It hurts real bad. My foot hurts real bad. So bad. And don't, before you guys wonder, was it kickboxing? Was it mountain climbing? Was it something rugged and manly? No, I was going up and down stairs in my own home. But I hurt my foot really bad. And uh, this video, as well as this after recorded intro and the outro, I'm gonna record as soon as I'm done. I am really hopped up on painkillers. <laughs> so magic is insanely fun uh, in this video, even though this video is kind of, I don't know. I don't know if this video is actually as funny as I found it to be. You'll have to let me know in comments. I found the games and the draws we had just so silly. Everything about it seemed funny to me. And I was, I would normally just like, if I have a deck that I don't think is very good and I think is misbuilt, I usually delete it and don't show you that. This deck is not good. It's misbuilt in so many ways um at least that's what the games are going to show you but for some reason i had an absurd amount of fun and um let me know if you like me being hopped up on drugs painkillers and making content because i don't know it was fun that's all i can say this uh deck is really just i wanted to play inspired ultimatum i've wanted to Build a Jeskai Control inspired ultimatum deck for a while. Many of you know me that the style of deck I most likely most love to play is draw go, counter some stuff, draw a bunch of cards, control with no win cons. And that's what this deck is. The win con is mainly annoying the opponent to death or shooting him in the face for five again and again until they're gone with inspired ultimatum. And Fay of Wishes gets cards out of the graveyard, including normally Finale of Revelation which lets you reshuffle the deck and get back the ultimatums and do it all again. So that's really all that it's about. And my expectations going in where I'll play a few games, I'll have some fun. Maybe it'll be an okay video. And the sh I don't know, man, the shuffler is not fine. Not fine, as you will see. So I hope you enjoy these. And before we dive in for the Cool Kids Club watching the intro, I've got two Patreon shout outs today. So hello to Brianna in the Colony, Texas. Thank you for being a Patreon. And hello to Savage Snad Gaming on YouTube. That is Savage S-N-A-D, Snad Gaming on YouTube. So um, yeah, that's your shout out. If you want to join the Patreon at the $9.99 a month tier, you too can have a shout out in the video of whatever you want it to be. So hello to Brianna and check out Savage Snad Gaming on YouTube and let's dive in. I hope you find this as funny as I did. <laughs> Let the nonsense begin. Oh, I love this hand for so many reasons. Do I have to go into all of them? Probably not. You understand. Alt collector on one. That is one way to get under this hand, but look what we draw. It's a one for Fay of Wishes. Nessie and Horn Beetle, okay. Mono Green is coming for us. They are coming. So as it is right now, they need to play something else. Or else their board isn't effective. So I think this is a good time to use a Mystical Dispute. They're basically forced into making a play. Oh, come on now. Oh, come on now. That's the play? 
There's only one right choice. No, Ozolith. <gasps> Rip. <laughs> Not like this. All right. <laughs> another dispute. They have to play another creature here. Have to turn that one down. Oh my goodness. We can't let these pelt collectors grow. Are we going to draw land? This is getting absurd. This is getting so absurd. Why not? <laughs> Battle of the century right here. Opponent showing their gumption, just jamming into the counter spells that they can be confident are there. What? Um, guys, what's going on? <laughs> Shuffler's fine, everybody. Shuffler is fine. I think they're going to pass here. Because they would have played a creature before combat for the beetle. Nope. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. The heck is this? I guess I have to play you. Right on schedule. I do need the card. I'm going to reset this Pelt Collector. Wait, no! That's not how the Ozolith works, CGB. We found the land. Not quite dead. Oh my goodness. Counters got on things. Whatever will we do? Do they kill Teferi? They don't kill Teferi. Oh, you know you're wrong for that. There you go. You know Teferi will get you. It's only a matter of time. All right, Faye. Good job. You fought the fight. That Ozolith, though. We're going to need a Teferi to bounce it to get rid of those counters. And we need a break from our opponent here. <gasps> That's not a break. That thing's going to be huge. All right, we can take one hit, then we absorb. Maybe we draw with the Triome, see what we... No. Let's put this out. It doesn't have Trample. It doesn't have Trample, everybody. We can make a 1-1 one, one and block. Nope, well, got to counter that. Up to 13. Down to less. Considerably less. All right, what you got? Make token, not die. Big 7-7 seven, seven creature try to hurt me. No longer. Wait, what? Don't use all that mana. Don't use all that mana. You do it. Beefcake. Not a shatter the sky. So this will have to be. You got me. You got me. <laughs> that, that game was stupid and absurd in every way. <laughs> I kind of loved it. I kind of loved it, to be honest with you. Oh, well, we've got mana. And this time we have Inspired Ultimatum, which we never drew in the last game when we needed it. And our, um, you know, Mono Red. Classic. Only one deck to play against on the draw. Mono red. And of course, Steamkin. Yes, yes. Don't don't not have the Steamkin. We'd all be we'd all be weirded out by that. Okay, we need an untapped land off the top for Teferi.
Our opponent is all gas. Perfect curve. We have the untapped land, though. Send the annex back where it came from. Let's slow this down. Trust me, I have a plan. Now we need another untapped land. Those mystical disputes are looking pretty bad. Looking pretty bad so far today. I suppose that's how it was meant to happen. Wonder if the opponent has the one drop. No attacks. Huh. Interesting play by the opponent to kill the Teferi. Now we can absorb the Annex and then shatter the sky. You're telling me there's a chance. I wonder if it was supposed to be Dispute because they might have mana in the future, but we have to tap out next turn anyway. It's good. It's fine. This is fine. This is fine. What do we do? The opponent hasn't been attacking. They've been afraid of the Fae of Wishes. Do we wait another turn? Try to find a way for Omen to get me out of this? I think if we're going to play Omen, we do it first. And we have to counter an Embercleave, probably. Also, every turn that we buy time with gives us time to put together the... the, um, Inspired Ultimatum. Me later. Yep, let's just keep on putting this off. Who knows, they might not play the Annex. Or they might... God, these counter spells are terrible. We also can buy time to draw back-to-back -back sweepers. It could happen. Oh, the opponent hates to ferry enough here. Hates tell. enough to go after it with the spitter into the into the jaws of the Fae of Wishes. Come at me, bro. Oh, are they thinking Embercleave here? Ooh, I'd love it. I mean, I could shatter that, then they play the Annex, and then I at least get a turn to figure out how to deal with Annex, and it could be Inspired Ultimatum if I draw the land. But no. Nope, they're too smart for that. But right now they get less tokens, so we are going to blow them up. And they don't get to draw a card because none of these were big enough. By the way, three Mystical Disputes again. Shuffler is just fine. Shuffler isn't just feeding me Mystical Disputes in matchups where there's no blue. Shuffler wouldn't do that. Shuffler loves me. It loves all of us. You know what else they don't give you? Seventh land. Opponent is going the hell off. Look at this champion. I told you. All right, so we could go get a Vout Decree, but that doesn't really matter. We might have to just double Mystical Dispute the Embercleave, quite frankly. I guess getting Aether Gust is a play, but... Mm. Yep. They can pay for all of this. What a joke. What a joke. Oh my god, it's Embercleave. Who knew that was coming? Mystical Dispute just rocking the house. I still had like four plays that turn. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with this deck? I can't even. I can't take it. This is... I'm glad. I am so glad. I, I read the signs and stayed out of ranked. So I can laugh at this and be happy. Looky here. Mystical freaking dispute. Do you think we'll draw... We've drawn seven of them in two games. Neither of which were against a blue deck. How many will we draw this game? Let's find out. Fr friendly opponent, mono black so far. Narset, you can 
I guess we'll draw you. We've got the ultimatum. We're not under pressure. Planeswalker seems good. That's fresh. Not every day you get to face something that gives rat creatures menace and makes rat creatures. So let's burn it. Get out. Nobody wants to play with you. You're rats. We're under quarantine here, people. Can't have rats running around. Bastion of the Remembrance. All right. Well, now my freaking mystical dispute. Three straight games. No blue decks. Card. If I weren't committed to my deck list to make this video, I would cut it right now. I would chop this right out of the deck out of spite. Pure spite. Well, our opponent didn't put any pressure on the board. Never mind. What I get is what I get for playing an Omen of the Sea. All right, well, you know, we get to Teferi. But there's a big problem with that, too. There really is. Because the token will kill the Teferi. And then we still have to deal with the Ambusher somehow. So, we'll use Narset. I don't want to discard Inspired Ultimatum, but I may have to. And I do. We'll have to draw a new one now. But Narset has two loyalty, whereas Teferi would have one, so the token doesn't kill it. Ignores Narset. Must have something. Playcrafter. That'll do. You got me. You crafted me. It's a healthy plague you got there. Those things don't go together. <laughs> Find it back. Sure. Alright. Man, everybody, everybody just giving me a workout today. All kinds of things I can't deal with. All, I look at the most awkward mystical disputes in the history of mankind. Down to nine. My turn. Can't do nothing. I'm just chilling. Opponent's like, I'm not playing night pack then. That's fine. Exile that. Out. Out, I say. Yes, good, good. Arasta of the Endless Web? Just no. Absolutely not. Get that out of my face. It's all right. We'll be chilling here with Inspired Ultimatum for a while. Got Eternal Ronin. No. Mystical Dispute. Guys, I've drawn nine Mystical Disputes in three games. Ask me anything. All right, Teferi, let's go. Start locking this down. No more flash nonsense for Night Pack here. Are there any other rares or mythics in the colors green and black you would like to put on the battlefield? Uncommon. Hmm. I, I can just bounce this. I want to draw a card with my Teferi anyway. Oh, sweet. Oh, I've done the hero. Now we'll just inspire it all to make him that thing on end step. Teferi can take a punch. Ink eyes for two? I guess not. <laughs> this game is nonsense. More dragon fire, yeah, baby. Here we go. Just looking for the window to ultimatum. Like good old Sphinx's revelation, you can do it at instant speed. If your opponent doesn't do something that you have to counter, you just inspire ultimatum. All right, Prowler wants face. Face you shall have. Second Prowler, don't care. All right, target player, target thingy-majig. Fresh five cards. That's how it was meant to happen. No, I 
I am not making this up as I go. I mean, you kind of are. Let's be real. Making it up as we go along. It's more fun that way. What do you want to attack, Prowly boy? I just want to know. Are they going to go face for the rest of the game? It looks like it. The dragon fire was scorching. The ambusher was countered. The omen was cast. The opponent's being a sweetie. Good game. I mean, considering that I'm torturing you with Teferi, pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty understanding opponent. <laughs> All right. I mean, they haven't conceded. They have not scooped it up. So I guess we're going to go looking through the deck for the fairy. Go find a win con and work on casting a whole bunch of ultimatums to face because I can get into that. Like I'm, this this is fun for me. I can do this all day. <laughs> this might be a bad idea. Win cons. My win con is patience. That's yep. Yep. That's not a keepable hand. That is. You know what I'm putting back, right? The law of averages says <laughs> that this card should be good soon. But screw this card. <laughs> Let me guess. It's a blue deck. Okay. Okay. I've already got one. I might need two. I mean, what what's black going to be? Black has creatures, right? Besides, they might even hit my hand and take my shatter away. Let's hang on to this. Let's hang on to this. It did nothing. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. All right, might still be a mono black devotion. Go away, yeah, yeah. yeah. Shuffler's fine, guys. Shuffler is fine. It doesn't force feed you just the most ridiculous hands every game possible. It wouldn't do that. Look at there. Look at there. What we got there. Um, do I want to save Teferi with a Shatter? Or would I rather just counter stuff? No, if they play counters, I just want to Shatter. But I don't have to save Teferi. I can do this on their end step. Yeah, settle the wreckage. Be afraid. That card isn't in standard. Great. Oh, you're letting me... <laughs> you're letting me save Teferi if I let you draw two cards. Deal. Teferi is greater than all your cards combined. But we will let you attack first. All right, no one drop, no one drop, no one drop. Or two drop, I guess. Rude. Very rude. How am I supposed to save my Teferi now? We need the opponent to play something first main. That counts as a thing. That's not what I had in mind. How about a land? There we go. I don't... Oh, come on. The fourth shat... Fine. We'll do it. We're just going to shatter frickin' everything. We still have to counter their planeswalkers, though. So, it's going to be kind of awkward. Oh, guess I can't shatter that, so I have to counter it. Game is freaking stupid, everybody. Just get out. Well, no, wait. I have a castle. I can block this if the opponent 
does a thing. Look at this full house. Look at this grip. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah, that's that's fair. I've got some planeswalkers, but I'm gonna make a token. I'm gonna try to block your paragon. And you just cast this murderous rider. How do you feel? Alright, fine. You got another one. Legit. <laughs> Boom shakalaka. <laughs> I don't know why these games are making me laugh so much. I think it's the preposterous nature of the way that games have gone. Like, there's another Dreadhorde General. What the hell is going on? We just keep playing the same cards over and over and over. So now I need to make sure I get to enough mana to stop this freaking Dreadhorde General with inspired ultimatums, probably back to back. So I'm just going to bottom these, look for land. All right. Will that do the thing? Red, 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 blue, blue, white, white. Okay. Boss. I mean, I just have to, I just have to shoot Liliana, quite frankly. And I can't stop her from plussing here anyway. So I'll plus this and we'll do it at instant speed, then untap, do it again. Maybe the opponent will go face, not kill to fairy, and then we can shatter after Liliana is dead. Uh-huh. Now what? Bang. All right, so not gonna die. <laughs> All right, I mean, it took double inspiration to kill off the Dreadhorde General. <laughs> Look at how many cards I have. I am exhausted. Me too. <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? Alright, opponent's gonna draw two. This is another just insane game. Alright, let's drop off these not untapped lands. And what are some other. You know what? Let's just get this card away from me. Just get this card in the bin. So now, I still have something left over. I definitely want the dragon fires. Do I need the omen? Omen's pretty good for finding what you need. But Narset is really good at life gain and such. I'm going to get rid of one omen. And I like keeping the castle, so if... if I were you, I'd just surrender Are you exactly. freaking kidding me right now? Are you freaking kidding me right now? This is the dumbest game of all time. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. We're one short of shattering and trying to take this out. We could try to draw an inspired ultimatum. If we do, we take out Lily. I guess we have to go for it. There isn't a lot better I can do. All right, none of that was good. We could target the Cavalier, but it wouldn't kill it. So it doesn't get anything back, so we decline. And um, yeah, this is gonna, this is gonna, this is gonna be something. <laughs> We're going to deck our opponent. That's the new strategy. The new line is to deck the opponent here, everybody. Actually, all they have to do is get back um, the knight, and it's lethal. Oh, okay. And yeah, we don't have. We don't have the life. We're, we're a mana short of the dragon fire. Now, if I had plussed the Narset, I could have also played a dragon fire. Yeah, that would have been smart. At this point, I find the game too funny. It's too funny for me to. <laughs> it's too funny for me to play the correct line. Smelly, but effective. 
Yep, get it, get it, get it. Come on, come on. Oh my goodness. I'm sure this will be a nice regular game of magic at this point. Why the heck wouldn't it be? All I want to do is gain five life and draw five cards a bunch of times. Is it, that, is it, that, is it too hard? <laughs> do I ask too much of this world? Dismal Backwater. Sounds like the place I grew up. Shout out to Boyne Falls, Michigan. Class of none of your business. <laughs> Starfield Mystic. All right, let's. This is where you want. Still haven't played a blue deck. Just go away. I guess I'm nowhere near casting you. This is where you want Scorching Dragonfire. Aha! I have counter magic available. I am an elite gamer. That's a card. Um, a blue card. I'm like, should I Omen of the Sea to try to Mystical Dispute that? I haven't Mystical Disputed a blue card in so long. Uh-huh. I have been attacked. I'm going to Omen now. A Shatter. Another Shatter. E fine, fine. You know what? You know what? They're trying to kill me with creatures? I will Shatter them. But first... Let's bring out Kung Fu Narset. Then act. That's another shatter. What the heck is going on? You know, forget counter spells. Forget them. Just, I'm never holding mana open again. I, I give up on this way of life. I'm just going to do nothing but blow things up. Blow things up and planeswalker kick stuff. That's, that's my new way of life. Even masters make mistakes. Yeah. <laughs> You thought you had me. Humble your mind. There is all breathe in. Exhale. Do you have another banishing light? Some kind of Esper enchantment artifact control? <gasps> is it an Alayla deck? You have Alayla? The Esper fairy queen thing of a jig from com from uh, the commander stuff. The Brawl decks, that's what it was. You have to craft it, you can't open it. Wait! Mirror Maid. I need some <laughs> All right, well, Teferi's here. Let's just draw more cards. Let's work on our inspired ultimatum game plan. I'm just playing this again now to hit my land drops because that's what matters here. And I'll keep the other Omen of the Sea, because it will find me another land drop. And then, then my friends, you will know the beauty of drawing cards and you having your Planeswalkers exiled by like 15 Banishing Lights. It's There's a Heliod's Intervention in my sideboard, and by God, I'm going to find it. It's gonna happen. I should have left the castle open. Who would have thought? I would have thought we'd need that castle, but here we go. Next turn, baby. Next turn. It will happen. It will freaking happen. Our opponent would never play a counter spell. <laughs> they pass with all that mana open. It's 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 not gonna. It's never gonna happen. <laughs> all right. Uh, these can go. We want Fae of Wishes. Fae of Wishes and more ultimatums. Threatening to draw cards. You know what? 
I came here to kick butt and chew bubblegum, and I'm all out of bubblegum, as the saying goes. I don't know if that's just an American Midwest saying or if that's a worldwide saying, but this is this is the I'm out of bubblegum play. It resolved. Yes. Was is this where I was supposed to leave Mystical Dispute up? Like I said, I'm off this way of life. I, I can never counter anything ever again. It's just too bad. It's too horrible. I've given up. I've given up on counter spells. Covert go burn spell. That's that's the future. Now what you doing? Starfield Mystic. Cool. Woman of the Sea. I hear those are good. I like them. I like them a lot. So, Narset can come down, plus Scorching Dragonfire. They'll have mana for Castle. I want to go nuts here. I think they just dance with the Mance or something. I said leave mana for Castle. Auto Tapper knows not what it does. The reason we do it this way is so we can also scry this turn, rather than casting the Scorching Dragonfire. Because we want to find Fae of Wishes and more ultimatums. We cast one ultimatum. When you cast an ultimatum, you're supposed to draw a second ultimatum, if you're good at magic. And I failed. ECD. You know, all the counter spells shouldn't be in my deck, so I can just cast Elspeth Conquers Death more. That, that would be proper gaming here. That's what I wish I was doing. Alas, I return to my training. Right? Opponent passes it over. Oh, there it is. Where are you at? <laughs> so, one, two, three, four. I can blow up one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Seems good. hope I don't get wrecked for my efforts. You go. This doesn't matter. Um, this can scry, so it's probably important. And we don't want to blow up both because there's two Narsets under there, so... Oh yeah. Let's draw. You can go. Let's draw. I've got it. Keep the good cards coming. Still haven't found our second ultimatum, other than the one we scried to the bottom an, an eon ago. But now we have Fey. Wait, what? Exchange it for target non-land permanent. Alice Dismissal the Mirror Maid. Give me back a Narset. But now you don't have a Banishing Light. Hmm. <laughs> I, I don't know what to tell you. If this hand isn't the stuff legends are made of, <laughs> why am I keeping it? I don't... <laughs> Scorching Dragonfire, go. Mystical Dispute, because why not? We just have it in every game, no matter what. You can't avoid it. You can't avoid it. All right, I'll play this. I'm gonna be mad if they play an innkeeper though. An edge wall innkeeper. The heck is going on today? This is nonsense. All right, I'm gonna shatter your freaking sky, but I guess I have to set up for that. If the opponent plays an adventure creature, they get to draw. That's pretty good. That's really good. But what can you do? What can you do? Okay. 
get wrecked. I can't risk them like playing land and then also playing like a Fey of Wishes or something. I just want to blow these up. Go out, out with you. Your inn sucks. You have the worst inn in the towns. You're going to mill me. You came here to mill. Okay then. Let's go, Narset. The adventure decks usually have a little bit of trouble with planeswalkers. Why not? Why not? They play creatures. Just blow up the creatures. Easy mode. Can't miss. What? The heck? The land shall conquer you. <laughs> okay. One second you're milling me. One second you're shaking the world. All right. Cool. Cool. Um. Could throw a shatter at the Nissa. And a dragon fire. I could just double dragon fire the Nissa and gain two life. The opponent will attack this. Kill it. I think I'm better off drawing a card, right? Dead Narset. Oh, hi. Bang. That's how it was meant to happen. Get out. Just the way we drew it up in the, in the locker room. We ran the play to perfection. Get out of your graveyard. What are you doing? Don't get stuff back. The heck am I doing here? What is this life? All right. Dry it up. Nissa's coming back. Nothing I can do. Exiling you this time. You ain't coming back like that again, girl. Now you are exiled. Once in future. The heck? Somebody didn't want to get the Fey of Wishes, so they just added all the whole wish board to the main deck. All right, now we're top decking Inspired Ultimatum, guys. Are you freaking kidding me? Yeah, check out my my land. <laughs> okay, all right, sure. Main deck once in future. Still have fan wishes. Graft Digger's Cage. What what are you thinking I'm going to do to you? <laughs> what do you think I'm going to do? Flame, flame sweep. What? What the heck is this? They must have watched my my video with the dream trawlers. No, wait, that that isn't even live yet. That's live in like two hours. Do they follow my Twitter? Are they traumatized? Is that what's going on here? Are they just traumatized from from living in the shadow of Jeskai Luka? Oh my gosh, that is a sweet top deck when they just fetched a disdainful stroke. It's not over. Well, that's a pile of cards. And we didn't draw another ultimatum yet. We'll have to work on that. Our skills of drawing ultimatum with ultimatum, not quite going well. We're better at drawing mystical dispute. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Would you like to also play your 5-5? Five five? Nope, they're gonna hold up Disdainful Stroke. They're just going to 1-1 one, one attack me to death now. All right, I'll, I mean, I'll hold out for a good shatter. Sure. I think you've revealed that you don't have many land. Well, top decked it. Feeling good. Would you like to flame sweep now? Things are looking really good for that flame sweep. 
Love struck beast. If I go for the absorb and they can't disdainful stroke it. And it denies them a card if I do ever resolve shatter. I'll take the I'll take a few hits from these. Opponent opponent being a coward here. Alright, more Narset. Could be fun. It could definitely eat the disdainful stroke. Bing, bing, bing. And go. Let's be done holding up mana, please. Oh, they let that resolve, do they? Honor the past by bringing its traditions into the future. All right, I'll gain life. Breathe in. Exhale. A good anti race for the tokens. What you gonna do? Smash a borrower? No. Today, not the weirdest games you've ever seen. I will send one Scorching Dragon Fire to shift the rate at which I am losing loyalty on my Narset. And make the opponent think I don't have a shadow. I can feel your anger. Come on, play more creatures. Do it. Rude. Judged our communication. Deck is taking off, there is no question. Wow, land. Cool. Lucky me. Lucky me. Another Fay of Wishes. I, I, I've seen enough. Just another really stupid game, everybody. Another insanely stupid game. Snap it off. Boom. Mono Red Revenge. Our hand is pretty terrible, quite honestly, against Mono Red on the draw. But here we are. This is our life. This is how it goes. Good old Cavalcade version. Hype! Alright, so if we want this untapped next turn, we have to play this. But then if we do that, we don't have the fairies. So, I guess there's just no good way to do it. We're just going to be shocking ourselves down to, like, no life total. So be it. Robber and Cavalcade, match made in heaven. That was way too confident. Alright. Infuriate Gamer. No, not even. <laughs> just, just no regard for human life. Alright. Fine. Um, let's just hold up Absorb. They have to make a play here. Or at least it's definitely on them to make a play here. And I'm just going to counter the first thing, even though they probably have another play. But just got to do it. Got to make sure it resolves, because if I don't, they can just not play the other thing. They progress their board, and I did nothing with mine. Uh, drop you off. Two damage to you. All right. Got him down to two cards. Got him down to one card. It's a card that's two cards. Son of a... Mm. 
Uh. All right. Do life. To open the mind, you must first. Deferry. Did that wrong. Tap double blue. Meant to hold up absorb. Doesn't matter. Let's bounce the grim initiate. Boom. How will they ever even think to defeat the mystical dispute? Uh huh. Oh, oh, they sequenced wrong, you guys. They did it wrong! Mm. That's where it's at, baby. I'm supposed to use oops. Might be a bad idea. Too toxic even for me. Shatter? Not even good here. <laughs> Crazy. Ryome. Sure. Hold up absorb. Probably lose to fairy here. Bam. Scorch spitter shut down. Don't make another move. I suppose that's how it was meant to happen. Alright, keep the life gain going. To open the mind, you must first open the heart. What is the matter with the auto tapper? It used to always hold up castles. Now it just only holds them up at the worst possible time. It's very committed to that task. Alright, scry is open. The persistence of the Grim Initiate in this case. Very strong. That is a problem solver as much as I want Inspired Ultimatum. One to the top is good enough. Good enough to make the head explode. And we are back for the post-game wrap. And I don't have a lot to say. This, this deck is... This deck is like the kind of guilty pleasure that I have. I don't even feel bad about playing it in the unranked queue today because I played against a lot of good decks, quite honestly. Plenty of fine decks, you know, Teamer Adventures, Mono Red. They weren't pulling any punches. Good old Mono Green Stompy. They were bringing it, and this deck is not broken. Mostly because Mystical Disputes, a terrible card, and Dragon Fire are pretty narrow answers. And if we really wanted to play serious magic, we'd cut the disputes and run Elspeth Conquers Death. And we'd probably cut Ultimatum and do something else with that, too. Like, Narset needs to be in here. I don't know. You know, the three-mana Narset. But uh, for some reason, I had an absurd amount of fun, win or lose. And maybe you will, too. And let me know if this kind of video is trash tier compared to me playing a deck for the serial seriousness in ranked uh, versus... Uh, other things. I welcome the feedback, but I will tell you, if I don't feel like playing ranked because I don't feel I can be my best self doing it, I don't feel I'm focused or I didn't get good sleep or I have a stomach ache or my foot freaking hurts, I don't play ranked. I play it when I want to. I think that's a pretty healthy bit of advice for all of you because Especially if you're going to go caring about your rank and your wins and losses, especially if it's going to get in your head, then don't do it. Crazy. That's what the play cue is for. It doesn't make you less of a manly man or womanly woman or a themly them if you want to be in a play cue. It's fine. It's there for a reason. All right. So with that, thank you very much for watching this video. And as always, I will see you in the next video where hopefully my lack of foot pain will let me unleash absolute hell on all the noobs out there. And uh, goodbye.